Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to motion track a footage in After Effects and then use the same footage in Blender. So it's very interesting. Uh, let's begin it with a new project in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so let me just grab my footage. I will put the link to the same footage in the description down below if you're interested in the same footage. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into a new composition. It's very long, so I just need uh, 12 seconds of it or maybe 15 or 10 but it's totally up to you now let me just split it here and delete the remaining part and now go to composition settings make the duration to something like 12 seconds and i'm gonna make just zero and zero and hit okay and now our composition is compressed to 12 seconds and this is what we wanted now click track camera and go to advanced click detailed analysis to have a perfect track so let's wait for these to finish and then I will restart the video okay so now it's solving the camera and now as you can see it's doing its job and we have to wait for this it depends on the resolution of your footage if it is very high quality it's likely gonna take some time but if it is not damaged then it can work fast and you will see some tracker on the screen so let's wait for these to happen uh, I was not expecting it will take that much long, but let's wait for these and hope for the best. So... Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have created a solid... Let me just show you how I did it. Uh, let me just check it. Okay, so let me just do it in front of you. So as you can see, after solving, we got so many of them. Now select some of the trackers out there like that and uh, right click create solid and camera and you will see a solid object will appear there. If you play it as you can see it's sticking into the ground and this is what we wanted. So that's super interesting and we can now add any 3D object into it. Now After Effects is updated you can add 3D object in After Effects but we love to use Blender. Okay, so I think I was not happy with the solid so I just hit, hit Ctrl Z. And again selected some other trackers and create solid and camera and I just did this step and that's it okay so now if we need to export this data into blender in order to do it select all of them we need a script I will put the link to the script in the description down below you just need to download the script and click install the script and go to the directory where you have that script and just select it and you are good to go uh, this is very interesting select it and install it. It's totally free now File script and as you can see export composition data to JSON now go to a directory where you want to save the script file and hit uh, Save first name it and then save and then hit export now. It's time to open blender Okay, so we are in blender we need an add-on to import the tracking data which is after effect composition data converted JSON It's name like that so you, you just need to download the add-on and install it, okay? Just click install, go to the directory where you have it and uh, just select the, the py or python file in the description and install add-on and you will be able to install the add-on. Okay, so after in installing it, go to file, click, as you can see we have a new add-on appear down there select the file and import composition data. So as you can see, we have three objects in the scene we first uh, gotta see how it is okay so we don't need this big monstrous plan so let's delete it it's actually a footage select everything and as you can see the keyframes start from zero just grab them to one and uh, that's it okay so now if we go to output let me just make the frame rate to 29.9 frame per second which was the footage uh uh frame rate and in the camera setting background the image add your movie clip into it so you will be able to see what is going on click open clip and you will see a footage appeared behind it okay so as you can see we have to set the ending frame to something like 360 or 61 and as you can see the plan is sticking into the ground and this is what we wanted so now select the plan change it to local turn on gizmo and rotate it on y-axis to align it with camera view or as you are uh, or you can say to a footage okay so i'm just aligning it with the pathway there so it will uh, we'll, we are just doing it for the shadows so let's just scale it on z-axis okay 
So as you can see, if we play it, it's already st sticking into the ground. Let's scale it up. Let me just uh, import a 3D model from Sketchfab, which is this hill model. And I will put the link to the same model in the description. So control J and join them. And uh, they are parented to uh, an, an empty. So click Alt P to uh, remove the parent. OK, so shift A, shift A, uh, cursor to select it and selection to cursor. OK. So let me just rotate it. Uh, let me just rotate the hill object so it aligns with the plan. I'm going to go to camera view. I'm going to grab it on X axis, grab it on Y axis, rotate it on Z axis. And you can also scale it up if you want. OK, so let's just align it with the ground. And I think that's perfect. OK, let me just move it that way. Maybe I can scale it up because it does look really interesting. And now you can do whatever you want to do with the hill because it's already in the scene. You just need to set the light, add any simulation or animation, and you are good to go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go to the its object setting of the plan. I'm gonna turn on shadow catcher so it's actually catch the shadows of the object. I'm going to change rendering to cycles because shadow catcher just work in cycle and I'm going to turn on transparent for the film. Okay, so under world, you can select an HDRI, but I have removed it for now and uh, it's totally black right now. Let me just scale it on. Maybe I can duplicate the plan and just move it around. And the second plan, the big plan will not be shown in the render because we're just doing it for collision because we're going to add some leaf moving around and uh, this is what we have to do. So go to edit mode, edge selection, select this edge and extrude it on uh, Z axis or you can also say Y axis because I mean local. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off for the render and I can move it to anywhere, but I'm going to go to physics. I'm going to turn on collision. Okay, so now it's time to add another plan, which is actually will be an emitter, which will emit particles there. So we will be able to add lifts into the scene, which will be blown by the wind. Let me just rotate it on Y axis like that. And I can now move it on Z axis and I can move it up. So I'm going to scale it on Y axis also. I'm just going to move it up and I'm going to go to camera view. I'm going to move this up and I'm going to rotate it on Y axis like that. Okay, so let me just uh, move it out of the camera so it will not interrupt it. I'm going to scale it and I'm going to go to particle, add a new particle. It's an emitter. I'm going to make the starting frame to minus 100. And I'm going to go for the ending uh, for, for the lifetime to something like 250. I'm going to scroll down under uh, field width. I'm going to turn off the gravity because we don't want gravity to affect our object. I'm going to play it. Okay, so as you can see, we don't see any objects there. If you go up there, it's as you can see, it's uh, doing it on the wrong side. But if we just uh, increase, uh, decrease the gravity, let me just rotate it on Y and 180 degree. So the normal face will be rotated into the hillside. And as you can see, it's now moving particles into the other side. Okay, so let me just go to velocity. I'm going to increase the normal velocity so they moves a little bit faster. And I can also increase it. So let me just play it and you will be able to see what is going on. Okay, so as you can see, it's bouncing back from this one. So I'm going to go select it, go to physics tab, and I'm going to increase the thickness. And maybe I can increase the damping, randomize, and increase the friction to 0.5. So now they will stick and it will slightly move down as it will be have like a leaf, or you can also say uh, the objects just move around. And. Uh, Okay, so that's fine. And I'm going to go for the face selection. I'm going to select this face and uh, P by separating it. I'm going to remove the collision from the other object. So I think I need a collision, but they just need a very different uh, property, which will be just, you know, playing around with the friction and it will not stick into it. So they will, you know, bounce back slightly. I'm going to decrease the friction value. And I think it's fine and it does work for us. Okay. So that's super nice. I'm going to save our file. And uh, I have found this image on the internet, which is, ac which is actually not having any background. So we can use this image as, uh, as the leaves moving around. Uh, I'm going to import it into Blender. If we just scale it up and go to material view, you will be able to see that there is no background for, the, for this one. And this is what we wanted. 
and I will also put the link to the same uh, leafy image in the description down below I'm gonna go to shader editor because I want to change its color okay so let me just add an a hue saturation node uh, connected between the color and the image texture I'm gonna play around with the hue as you can see it's turned uh, it turns different color when I play around with the values I think I'm going for something like 0.2 I think it should look red and I'm gonna play around with the values just look at those value and note them and just copy them okay I think 0.1 is the perfect value for us I'm going to add a brightness and contrast node in between and I'm going to increase the brightness maybe I can uh, I can just make it 0 0.05 and I think that's fine select the plane go to particle system go under render uh, click object and select the leaf object so it will emit lift in instead of uh, smaller particles okay so I'm gonna select it I'm going to make a scale randomness to 0 0.5 turn on object rotation turn on object rotation click dynamic and now it's going to do its job if you play it as you can see it it's already feels like leaf dropping into the ground and this is what we wanted this is why we have to feel the vibes of the scene because it's actually look like an outmoon and if we just go to render view as you can see we don't have anything it's very dark you can use any kind of hdri i will put the link to one that i used for this scene and uh yeah i'm just gonna grab it i'm just playing around with different hdris maybe different stuff so they uh they may be different from one another it's totally up to you what kind of hdri you want to use i just play around with different one of them and uh, i'm not sure which one is perfect but it's totally up to you how you want the scene to feels like how you want you can also do it manually by adding area lights around and i think that's fine i love it okay i'm gonna decrease the strength of it so it's not very you know bright and I think that's okay and uh, we can now go for okay so I'm just gonna go to solid view and I think I'm gonna go to particle system I'm going to uh, cache and I'm going to bake it okay so now it's time to render out all the animations and uh, to see what we can do with it okay so maybe I can just uh, just a second I'm gonna select the leaf object I'm going to connect it with the emission color uh, the color I think no I'm gonna grab it from the brightness and contrast and it will connect it to the emission color and increase the strength of it to something like 0 0.2 or maybe increase the little and I'm gonna make it one I think it's fine and if you play around maybe I can make it 0 point okay so I think one value was good and uh, it's totally up to you how you want it to be if you want it to be a darker just go for 0 0.3 if you want it to be a, a brighter leaves then you can make it one okay so here's the problem as you can see they are gathering on a different spot but uh, in reality the footage is not like that so I'm gonna turn on both of the I'm gonna turn this off for now I'm gonna turn on both the collider as you can see if I just move it and line it with the wall it's going to be perfect and I'm gonna go for a free back but I'm going to uh, just play around with the position of it and I'm gonna turn on the second one and I think I need to align it with the first one so I'm just going for these to get aligned so it will enter interact perfectly with the wall so I'm just gonna go for wireframe and see okay so I think it's perfectly aligned with it and this is what we wanted now let's add a uh, uh, what you call a, a loop cut and hit control b to add a bevel there and i'm going to align it with the doorway i'm gonna go for just like that and i think i'm going to move it on uh, this axis and i'm going to delete it because i want the leaf to go through these and i'm also going for the other side as well so in the edit mode hit ctrl r and add a loop cut hit ctrl b to add a bevel and i'm going to delete it by just uh, scaling first and then let's delete it and delete that face so i think it's fine and now if you go to first frame uh, maybe okay 
I'm gonna go to solid. I'm gonna turn on the particle plan and I'm gonna go for this plan and I'm gonna rebake it. So it will now finally will interact with it uh, perfectly. I'm going to hide those colliders because I don't want them to be in the scene. As you can see, they are already doing their job and this is what we wanted. So guys, this is totally up to you. How you want the seal to feel like, uh, consider uh, subscribe. But before moving along, I'm gonna make the render sample to 50 and I'm going to make the final one to MPEG-4. I'm going to composite it, okay? So I'm just gonna select a location where you want to save the file. I'm going for this location. I'm gonna save the file. I'm going to render an image so you will be able to see what is going on. So now let's render out that image and see. Okay, so it's rendering and we will do the basic compositing in Blender after doing VFX, okay. So I'm going to go to compositing, use node, and I'm going to add a movie clip, search for a movie clip. And I'm going to add a viewer node, uh, sorry, alpha over node connected between those. And I'm just going to connect this with the upper one and this one with the downward. And I'm going to add a viewer node. I'm going to connect the image with the image. I'm going to select the movie. And as you can see, it's composited. And this is what we wanted. I think the lighting is very off so you can play around with it you can save the file okay guys consider subscribe like it share it thanks for watching